marketing agencies, marketing agencies all have a competition problem that I just recently solved. And it's no wonder it's taking you forever to scale up to six figures. But watch this. Here's my bold promise, guys. By the five minute mark of this video, you're going to be fully equipped with everything you need to not look like another clone of the other marketing agencies. The reason you guys have to scrape and blast so many damn leads to potentially get one deal is because you come off as a commodity to prospects, not a rare commodity, the sad type. OK, so by the last minute of this video, you'll know all 10 steps to uh, and ask for free trials and to stop having to hear the sob story of how the S agency made the same problem or the same promise to them, but burned them. You'll be completely unique. OK, so here's 10 common agency practices to uh, avoid as a marketing agency. OK, number one. Generic branding and messaging using similar taglines like we grow your business or your success is our success or even using overused buzzwords like disruptive, innovative and cutting edge without actually demonstrating any innovative stuff. <laughs> OK, so below, like we have examples for everything we're going to show you to avoid because you guys are in danger when you're using these cookie cutter like copy and paste no pun intended because I have a program called Copy and Paste Rentals, but these marketing methods that you're just learning from these other marketing agency uh, YouTube channels, they're teaching you the same lead generation list, same lead generation tools, same subject lines, same BS. Okay, let me give you an example of winners. This is my marketing agency. Um, the, the landing page looks all scrambled and everything, but pay attention to the text. It says, congratulations. You've been selected out of many 2,000x your sales profits in less than 97 days using our, in quotations, market monopoly that guarantees rapid growth at breakneck speeds. First of all, they never heard of a market monopoly because I have a monopoly on that. It is unique. The only one that can provide that service legally is me. So just the curiosity will continue them reading. OK, so it says we position you to reach profits, not just leads or revenue. All right. Profits for rapid expansion and successful exits. We understand their end goal. OK, so it is their end goal. More, more than likely, most of them want expansions and they want them rapidly. Expansions, meaning uh, they want multiple locations or maybe they want to go to a uh, move to another city or something, or some of them want to exit. They want to sell off the business or something, right? All right. So next, leaving this page. Now we put a little bit of scarcity in there. Leaving this page without selecting an option for growth will result in your local competitors receiving the sales that would have went to you. Nobody wants to miss out. FOMO, right? Nobody wants to miss out and they definitely don't want their worst enemies to get the benefits that actually belong to them. So a psychology in every line of this. It doesn't look all pretty and that was on purpose because all of the other marketing agency sites look the same. <coughs> you guys care so much about like cosmetics and stuff instead of getting results. All right, so here we go. I'm certain you're smart enough <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm certain you're smart enough not to allow that. Right. Then we have the call to action. Then we say warning your competitors will see these offers as well. OK, so we're starting something similar to a bidding bidding war, like an, an auction. Right. Because when you're on a website, for some reason, you feel like you're alone, like it's not other people on there. But I'm letting them know, hey, is other people actually looking at this right now and we can only work with a limited amount. OK, so if you hesitate to act, your competitors will thousand X their highest month of profits by accepting the sales that you miss out on today. Boom. That is completely unique, completely different. That is a winning landing page, even though it looks ugly, guys. It gets them fired up, get their emotion going. And when they see our offers and our irresistible offers, they get going, baby. <laughs> All right. So another uh, mistake you want to avoid is having cookie cutter web design. And we've just kind of touched on that. So templates that follow the same structure. And this is why I uh, intentionally 
made it all all over the place like that so that it can throw them off just in case they've been visiting other marketing websites, okay? So hero image with a call to action, a brief about section, services listed with icons and a generic for portfolio layout, similar color schemes and typography making it difficult to distinguish one agency from another. Let me show you some example this is not me bashing anybody but you're gonna see this one looks just like the next couple okay look driving business performance okay where's the irresistible offer at where is it Canesta is a full service web design and digital marketing agency creating human based experiences boo check this out that could have been on the about page you're wasting real estate when these people come here this is their first and Impression to you, they need to know why they shouldn't leave and go choose the other people. You need to have risk reversal, urgency, irresistible offer right there. Okay, so now look, what's the difference between that one and this one? Nothing, the same thing. It has the big bold, um, you know, words right there, and then a the little tiny words, and then it has the big bold words right there, and then a the little tiny words again. Never miss your growth goals again. <laughs> okay, I guess that's a nice bold game okay then we got this one right here a little different structuring but the same thing big bold words the tiny words is just making a statement but it's not really saying anything if you get what i'm saying digital data driven digital marketing solutions we provide the strategy guidance and executions to launch grow and invigorate businesses of all sizes in all categories let's talk boo now i would not be ordering marketing from people that is just going to tell me that like you did all of that to drive the traffic to this site, to sign up, to get your marketing services. And this is the best. You need to turn it into Anita Baker and give it you the best that I got. You need to be going hard because you don't want them to leave. Okay. All right. So now identical server uh, service offerings. This is a huge problem. So what do I mean by that? Offering the same core services it, it's been a while now since i've offered anybody so a lot of you guys use the same offering you're offering seo ppc social media marketing short form, TikTok content creation, all of that extra stuff, refurbishing creation, putting it on different platforms, distribution, same old, same old. And you are a commodity. They can say no to you because they got their son that's offering the same damn thing in his basement right now. What you want to do is you want to create offers unique to your agency. Now, of course, they might still involve some of these things like SEO and strategy and social media and all of that stuff to fulfill those things, but you don't want to sell those, all right? Those are just the vehicles to get to the end goal that the client or the partner is trying to fulfill for themselves, okay? So with us, we have the market monopoly. We have the online banking system. We have the affiliate army, okay? That differentiates us to where they can't say we look like anybody else. All right, so another issue you guys have is standardized case studies. Presenting case studies in the same format, often highlighted, uh, highlighting uh, generic metrics like increased traffic by X without divi uh, diving into specific unique strategies used and blah, blah, blah. So a lot of the times on our platforms and everything, we'll have actual trainings that the so-called clients or partners can watch on there, they can also see interviews with successful people, not just testimonials, not just a, a couple minutes clips talking about how much money they made or something. They can literally see how it works and why it works, how long it takes to work, all of that extra stuff. OK, so then see, as you can see down here, we have some of ours. A couple of these are actual interviews and everything like that. Like, for example, this one is an interview right here. Uh, this is a testimonial. This is a testimonial. And these people are getting crazy results with us. And we make sure we diversify the types of, uh, um, you know, social proof that we put out there. OK, over reliance on industry jargon. This is another one that is super annoying. They don't care about your marketing buzzwords. OK, so clients and partners could care less about ROI 
a return on investment CAC, a lifetime value L. TV or conversion rate optimization, CRO. Look, they're just trying to grow. That's all they care about, okay? Now, you guys have been tricked and fluffed and, and primed by all these other channels and stuff to give a damn about all, all of this stuff and to make you feel all official and professional to know the terms and all. That doesn't matter. That's why people aren't paying you. When you get on these so-called strategy calls or discovery calls and you talk all that stuff, they could care less about that. OK, you're focusing on the wrong stuff. All right. So then you have similar client lists. OK, showcasing similar ranges of clients, often focusing on big names or recognizable brands and stuff. So all you want to do is tell them you once worked with uh, massage therapy and all of that extra stuff. Everybody did that. OK, so you have to diversify. OK, so now we have this right here. Another one I'm pretty sure you guys will recognize as seen on TV, CBS, NBC, Fox, Digital Journal, that type of stuff right there. It used to work before, but not anymore. Then we have another issue right here, replicated social proof, featuring similar testimonials, client logos, and a way that feels formulaic and lacking in genu uh, genuine personalization. A lot of you guys go to places like Upwork, and you go to Fiverr and you get these little spokespeople to speak on the site about what it is and everything or try to fake testimonials and all of that. Like they can pick up on all that bull crap a mile away. You don't want to be on that. OK, then you have identical content strategies. This means publishing posts like the, your, your blog posts are the same, white papers, ebooks on the same popular topics uh, without offering fresh perspectives or unique insights. Ten ways a plumber could increase uh, their lead flow and stuff like that. It's the same crap they always seeing. All right. So here's an example of that. I went to the Facebook ads library and you can see this free book alert, free ebook alert. <laughs> OK, <laughs> struggling to build your pipeline. Here's another free website. Here's a workshop that we have coming up. The same stuff, dude. It is becoming they're becoming blind to it. OK, it's called ad blindness or ad fatigue. OK, so now undifferentiated social media presence. Watch this. All right. Sa uh, sharing similar types of posts such as generic tips, motivational quotes, and success stories without a distinct voice or brand personality. For example, I have a brand person. I am anti-job and I am anti-agency. I teach you how to build anti-agencies through two different business models, creating your own uh, Cinderella equity, 10 monetization steps, anti-agency and through drop servicing, copy and paste rentals, okay? So like we have a different message. Anybody that comes across us is not gonna be able to get what we have on any other channel unless we own or have trained their channel, okay? All right, so now here's just an example, uh, one that uh, was shared with me and then I reshared. is is pretty much like, this is what it's talking about, generic stuff, okay? This is just generic stuff so you can fill up your content calendar and always be in communication with your, your uh, followers and all of that, but it's really not that unique or beneficial. So it's nine different websites that entrepreneurs use on a daily basis. If you've never seen this website before, then you might find it useful, maybe, I don't know. All right, so providing uh, standardized pro proposals and pitches. Providing potential clients with proposals and pitches that look and feel the same as those from other agencies, lacking customization to the client's specific needs or industry. So a lot of you guys have seen this before. I just went and found it. Results in 90 days or it's free. All right. Everybody does that. When it first came out, it was good and it was converting like wildfire and it was an irresistible offer. But now it's been added to the ad fatigue and the ad blindness bunch. Everybody is using that. And nobody trusts it anymore. OK, so now for those winners of you who want to meet with other winners in our community, visit the site in the first pinned comment. It will take you here to the agency to partner program. We'll show you how to convert your agency clients to partners 
plug in the 10 monetization methods without having to get any new clients. You can pull out equity from these local businesses and profit share from them without getting new clients, without investing in them just by plugging in these 10 monetization methods. And you can start profiting the same day. Go to the first pinned comment. We love you. See you in the next.